Yeah. Oh, this looks familiar. It does. Tell him he needs the history of how you used to run it. I think I told you, didn't I? Well, I've, I've got my recorder on now, so now we can really uh, well uh, <laughs> preserve the history. The old man, old man Fitzgerald told me this story when I was 15. Uh huh. He said she called and said, "I want a boat." Mrs. Fitzgerald. And he said, "I was having lunch with Hacker in the Chicago Club." Who the was? Next day. Fitzgerald. Yes. So he said, I want you to go up to Rainy Lake and look it over and get my wife a boat that she likes or that you think is suitable. So he went back and he built a duplicate model of the one they were building for the King of Siam. This is an absolute duplicate of the one that they shipped to Siam. And uh, so she had it there, but she didn't know the lake. She didn't know anything about it. But I liked her daughter, Janet. So I went down there a lot. I was 15, 16. <laughs> And I went down there a lot to see Janet, and so she'd say, Jimmy, take me for a ride in my boat. So I took her up to Kettle Falls, and I took her up to Sand Island Falls, and all over with this boat. But she'd never let me run it faster than 2,000 RPM. That sounds like me. So one time she had her, Link she had her Lincoln up there with her chauffeur. What kind of Lincoln? I don't remember. I'm a Lincoln fan, so I'm it was curious. A big one. Very old. And she was, she was trying to put the boat on the ways, and she couldn't get it on. It kept blowing off all the time. Huh. So I was here, and she said, Jimmy, you put the boat on the ways, and she got in her car and drove away. To Chicago. So I said to George Finch, said, come on, George, we'll see what this boat will do. So we took it out there and opened it up. And I don't know what it went, but I think it would go about 40. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I'd, I'd guess 40 is what we were doing. And George says, George says, I don't know, Jimmy. I don't think. Come on, George. And we did it. <laughs> And she would uh, she would come to town in her big I don't know if it was a Cadillac or what it was but she'd come to the back down to the main drag turn in the alley and park in the back there and sit there and blow the horn. She had ugly hands so she always wore black gloves and so she'd sit there with her black gloves on the steering wheel and just blow the horn. You know, sit there and blow the horn. You could hear it all over town. She wouldn't move out of the car until Harry came down. Harry was my uncle. My dad was John and then there was Harry and Harry was it was her gopher. He'd come down there and he'd just be shaking in his boots because Mrs. Fitzgerald was in town. You know. <laughs>